because I don't want to get too much recruit because then all that recruit is just taking up the all that space that I really don't need it to soon. All right, there's six cards. All right, here we go. All right, Baron Mordo. All right, so Sharon Carter. We got Ho we got Hoggeth. Now I could go ahead and I have enough attack, so let's go ahead and take out the squad one guys, get them out of the way. Um, and then with my five recruit, ah, man, let's just get a sidekick, Lockheed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. And Bermordo, same guy, so I'm just going to put him there. Alright, so... Fortunately... I only got three attack. I don't get to target, get to activate as a fat. Um, so, but with three attack, let's go ahead and hit this guy. And I'm going to, I'm going to play these first. So then I can KO that agent. So I still have four recruit. This goes on the bottom. Then with my four recruit, um, let's go ahead and get four, four, four. Get the me, myself, and I going. And skids, thank you very much. She's going back to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, and then scheme twist. Oh dear. So that's number four. Now we get to unveil what's going to happen. Control the mutant messiah. So when re reveal, stack this twist next to the mastermind, which I did. Are, and these are manipulations. Shuffle a random extra hero into a face-down Mutant Messiah stack. So, um, the person selected is Siren of X-Factor. So I'm going to give her a good shuffle. And hopefully that rare goes to the bottom, I hope. All right, so twist. Add this twist to the manipulation. So there are three. Investigate the mutant messiah stack for a card, and set it aside. Then, on this turn, you may gain that card to the top of your deck by spending recruit equal to its cost plus one for each manipulation. So there are three manipulations. So I got to remember to add three to all those. So, now that this twist has happened through, and also evil wins when there are three cards in the Fallen Messiah. Because what happens is, is for uh, if I don't recruit that card, it goes into the Fallen Messiah stack and next to the scheme. And then evil wins when three of them are in that stack. Now, what that means by Fallen Messiah... Uh, again, Messiah Complex is the name. So, just to get a little background on this. Um, so, Baby Hope, you may, if you have been in the Darks, if you've ever did the Dark City expansions, you would know what that is. 
Um, um, it had Capture Baby Hope as one of the schemes. Hope was the first mutant born after M Day. That's after um, Scarlet Witch uh, said no more mutants. So, and it turns out she can, she not only return people's mutant powers, but she can augment them. So, all right. So, we're going to. Oh no, it's the rare. I jinxed myself, you guys. Which means it's actually an 11. We'll put that right there. Okay. I was on right hand side. So, maybe 11 recruit would be coming handy. Maybe. Two, three, four, five. I'm almost halfway there. I get to draw two cards. So, one. Two, okay. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, fortunately, I am three short. So I'm not going to be able to get it. So it's going to the stack right here now. I know that's where the, uh, I said that that's where the uh, astral plane's going to be. Actually, uh, here we go. I'm going to put it, um, uh, let's see here. We'll do it like that. Astral Plane will still be right here, kind of. Alrighty. Alright, so. Not able to get that. But, I can finally get the Book of Vashanti. Finally, was able to get a rare. And if you're just uh, coming in, just to let you know, I am playing Marvel Legendary. Playing a, comp a randomized game of the last two expansions of Messiah Complex and Doctor Strange into the uh, Nightmares. And uh, so, I have three members. Uh, I got two members of x Factor, Multiple Man, and uh, Big Guy, along with X-Forces, Warpath. And they're teaming up with the Agent One and the Vashanti. Alright, four, five, six. Did I get that rare? I did. Sweet. And again, the cards are different colors because of the fact. <sighs> because my local game store ran out of the blue. I'm hoping to get some blue soon, okay? Alright, so. Let's get to it, shall we? First of all. Let's play a psychic and draw two cards. First card I draw, basic agent. And now, shuffle so I can draw the second card. Second card is, all right, awesome. Let's see here, did I trigger 444? I did not. Darn it. But I do have four attack. So let's see here. Let's. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get um, Predator X here out of the way because he has a bystander. So let's go ahead and hit him. And then I have two, three, four, five, six recruit. Sidekick goes bye bye. And with that six recruit, I need some more attack. So we'll get the big guy. Oh, and there's Warpath's Rare. Superhuman Senses. Let's check it out. So, three attack. However, when you reveal or look at any number of cards from your deck this turn, you get plus one. Uh, plus one attack. Just drawing or discarding a card from your deck doesn't count. Choose a number, one or more, investigate for a card that cost. So, that's that would be awesome. Four, five, six. Alrighty. Oh, Reverend 
William Stryker. And he's not the type of reverend I want to go to church for. Okay, ambush. Prey on the most X-Men, X-Force, X-Factor Brotherhood. Stryker captures one psychic from the psychic stack and two from the players, each from that player's hand and or discard pile of their choice. Oh my. So, first of all, captures Lockjaw. Come on. What did Lockjaw ever do to you, man? All right. So, no psychics on the right-hand side. Left-hand side. No sidekick, so he only gets that one. So he's going, but he's going to pray on the most. I, uh, that's going to be me right here. Oh, that's just lovely, lovely, lovely. So at least I got a little bit of time. Oh, by the way, those move down first. All right, so fortunately. Two attack doesn't do anything. I'm going to put the Book of the Vashanti right here. And then three recruit. Let's go ahead and get Oster. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> All right. Master Strike. So, uh, again, we're going to make a bargain with him whether we want to or not. Left hand side. Oh, well, yep, now we got to follow through. So we have to discard down to four cards. So it means I get to choose. Well, I'm not going to be able to attack anything, so I'm discarding the wound and the, the attack. So I have one attack. Then top card of this uh, player two. Yep. Let's go ahead and discard. Um, let's go ahead and discard the recruit because we need to use the attack. Okay. So um, let's see here. Four, four, three. Ah! To uh, investigate. Oh, I get to investigate. Card for strength or um, X factor. And I got one. Nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't help. But, 2467 recruit. Let's go ahead and get superhuman senses. All right, now we get to finish the prey. First time, I think. Um, so we're going to kill Lockjaw. Sorry, buddy. And he's going to enter the city normally. What a jerk. All right. Right-hand side. Master Strike. Again, right-hand side first. Top card is a zero. We're safe on that side. And I need to, oh yeah, need to get the left-hand side ready. Whoops. I'm a little rusty, you might say. It's been a while since I've done a straight. Five, six. And then discard the top card. Yep, it's cost one or more. So now I got discard down to four cards. Okay, we're going to discard again, just to recruit. Again, I need to use some attack here going. All right, so. First of all, let's play the teachings of the Kamar Taj. First card, basic recruiter. Second card, all right, Oster. So... Let's go ahead with our attack, and we are going to make a bargain, and it didn't go through. So I have five attack. Um, let's see here. I can fight Baron Mordo, and when I fight him, I, I choose a player to make a bargain with him 
to draw two extra cards at the end of this turn. Um, five, choose a player to make a bargain with uh, Hellstrom here to rescue three bystanders. And then I could take out uh, take out William Stryker here. You know what? After what he did to our little buddy Lockjaw, yeah, we're going to take you out, Pally. Uh, fight, gain the capture sidekicks. Well, we didn't do that. It's not going to happen this time around. Maybe next time. Okay, so, thank you, Lockheed. I think Lockheed wanted to get a little bit of revenge on that guy. All right. Three recruit. Well, let's just get our sidekick then. Hey, all right. Uh, Rusty Collins, uh, Fire Fist. Yeah, one attack, and if you, you investigate for a card that costs zero, KO it, or discard it. Uh, it's going to be a good way to get rid of some of those uh, uh, cards. Zero cost cards. By the way, in case you didn't know, and you've been playing Legendary for a long time, um, I found out, eh, it was a few months back, but turns out it was Wounds and Bindings cost zero. So, it's a zero cost card. Four, five, six. So, just in case you didn't know, now you know. And knowing's half the battle. Scheme twist. Okay. That's uh, now four. All right. Um, echolocation. So, she is a six. Oh, and again, guys, guess what? I don't have any recruit. So that's the second fallen. Oh dear. Alright, so let's go ahead. There's three attack. Then we're gonna play superhuman senses. I'm gonna say four. Okay? So investigating two cards. I get and let's see if they cost four. One does. Nice. So I get to draw that. And then I'm going to put this guy on top. Three, and I get one attack because I did uh, choose the right number. So four, five, six, seven attack. <sighs> Not enough to hit Dormammu yet. But let's go ahead and we're going to fight Baron Mordo. Oh, actually... Um, let's see here. This actually does not resolve until the end of the turn, by the way. So, four, six. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a bargain with De Baron Mordo. I'm going to choose the left-hand player. Discard the top card. We knew it was going to cost one or more. So, we're going to draw two extra cards. Um, unfortunately, not enough to get echo location. All right. I tried. Um, and we'll get this before recruit. Man, this is definitely not working out in my favor. It's like I'm in the Hunger Games all of a sudden. The odds are definitely not in my favor, man. All right, so, right hand side, well, I know there's one on the bottom, so I put it there, all righty, all righty, so, here's what we're going to do. Play Astral Confrontation. I'm going to make um, Baron Mordo here to go to the Astral Plane. Then I'm going to fight him for five. So he is gone. I'm going to make a bargain. It went through so I could draw two cards. Oh, at the end of this turn. Ah, 
I totally misread that the last time, by the way. So, okay. So these are gone. Let's go ahead and investigate a card that costs um, zero. Okay, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to make a bargain. Same card I revealed last time. So he is now four attack. So I got five attack. Let's go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and take out these sentinels. First of all, we'll take this one out. It goes in our victory pile. We'll take this one out. It goes on the bottom. And we're going to KO one of these agents we used. And then Rusty is going back to the sidekick. Alrighty. City is getting clear, but we need to get Dormammu before he succeeds. Because we only got one more Steam Twist left. And, oh, well, we know what's coming, right? Okay. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and play X Factor Investigations. Investigate card that has strength or X Factor. None of them do. So I'm going to put those under the bottom of my deck. Because that's what Investigate does. You can put it on the top or the bottom. Alright, so I have six attack. And four recruit. Ah, man. This is not gonna turn it out as good as I hope. But you know what? I really need them to recruit. So I'll get another Maria. And then with the six attack, let's go ahead and hit this sentinel here. We're gonna put this one back on the bottom. And then we're gonna KO an agent. Two, three, four. Need a shuffle. All right. More and more of those cards that I, where I can KO some of my greys come out more and more, the better off I'll be, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. Back to player number two. All right. It's Umar Ambush. Choose a player to make a bargain with her. To KO a hero of their choice from the HQ. Oh, man. Alright, let's go ahead and since the left hand side just shuffled, we'll make them bargain. So, yep. Alright. I'm going to KO uh, War of the Mind. And then, alright, there we go. So when we fight her, you choose a player to make a bargain with her to gain a hero of your choice that costs six or less from the KO pile. Nice. That's actually not bad. So maybe, just maybe, we can get that back. All right. One, two. All right. So, and then we have Oster. Let's go ahead and draw two cards. One, two. All right. Well, three attack is not going to hit anything, but two, three, four, five recruit is going to allow me to get some more draw card power. All right, there's some go big. Another four coster. He's got four, four, five, which means. You play, if you, as long as you have, uh, it's like Spectrum. As long as you're able to, if you have that in hand, you can make the effect go through without, before you play the cards. So it's kind of nice. All right. Alrighty. All right. Left hand side. Well, we already know what's going to happen, right? 
more of these guys. And the downside is, guys, the villain deck is getting really thin. But I do have four attack and four recruit. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, go big. By the way, strong guy, uh, he has only, he ha only has all green cards. He is mono colored, uh, just like Colossus. Would love to have him do a Colossus and him team up sometime. All right, then with four attack, hit that guy. This one goes to the bottom. We carry oh, an agent. One hour into the stream. Thank you for watching. I'll be posting this on YouTube most likely later this evening. Uh, I'm trying to get to affiliate uh, so I can get subscribers, and this way I can also uh, um, also uh, you know be able to put my name out there a bit more and everything. So. Um, so if you know anybody that loves deck building games and Marvel Comics, send them my way. I also recommend, uh, checking out my friend at Bagel Top Games. Uh, Bagel Top is the one that got me, uh, wanting to stream. Uh, also check out, uh, House of Mao, that's M-A-O. Um, and also check out, uh, Grey Warden. And there's a few others. Alright, right hand side. Uh, Predator X. Well, I know it's not going to be on the bottom, so let's see here. Let's see, does, he does not clone. He is the last one. So, I'm going to shuffle up the villain deck, and let's hope the uh, scheme twists are not going to show up for a while, huh? All right. So he's going to prey on the most instinct. Let's see here. I have green and two greens and a yellow. And then, oh, well, yeah, he's going to prey on left-hand side here. Oh, boy. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and make a bargain. So it's that's four, five, six attack. We're we'll go ahead and take out her, um, and rescue. And let's see. I'm go ahead and make a bargain and rescue three bystanders. First one, basic. Second one, a uh, uh, aspiring hero. I gain a psychic. And the third and final is engineer. Uh, when you uh, reveal the top card, if it costs zero, KO it. Top card is, is zero. Goodbye. And there goes in a victory pile. Yay! Uh, four recruit. Or five. Um, well, darn it. Let's go ahead and just get a psychic and call it good. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, left hand side. Oh boy, let's see. Do I get the? Yep, he's on the bottom. Reminds me of the uh, first X Men movie, and Mystique, uh, you know, drugs that security guy in, into the bathroom. And uh, she says, bottoms up. Anybody remember that? I sure do. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and do... Uh, hey, guess what, guys? Guess what? I made 444. And, yes. So, I'm going to draw two more cards. So, let's go ahead and play that. And draw two cards. First card. Second card. And then um, we're going to investigate for a card that's a green 
or strength, I mean, and X Raptor. Neither. So, bye bye, guys. Tuck you in. Alright, so. And then, if you get. Um, you get one attack for each card that you play this turn at least twice. Here's these two. So it's, now it's two. So that's three, four, five, six attack. Um, which is enough to take out the Sentinel. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I played an instinct here. So I'm going to clone me, myself, and I. It's not on the bottom, so I need to search for it. By the way, cloning is a lot of fun. If you can really get it going. I just saw his rare, and I really want that rare. Because then I can KO stuff. Alright, now I got to shuffle. <sighs> a lot of shuffling, by the way. If you, get, if you are not into shuffling, do not get the Messiah Complex uh, expansion. You will be doing a lot of shuffling. Because of the cloning and everything, the investigating. Oh my goodness, so much fun. I love it. Alright. Alright, so, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Strong Guy! Thank you, bud. I got you now. Alright, and now, take out this signal squad. This one goes to the bottom. KO the trooper and that's all we can do oh and yeah we attacked this guy by the way sorry goodbye so I had the attack got a little ahead of myself I got excited I finally got that strong guy rare maybe I could finally get some good stuff going here shall we right right I agree all right Mindless ones capture uh, ambush. They capture the rightmost hero that costs four or less. Well, they capture Oster. Those jerks. They keep doing that. Oh, look at that. All that recruit. <sighs> Scheme twist would have been better, I think. All right. Because one attack ain't going to do nothing. Two, four, five, six, seven recruit. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to force Umar to go into the astral plane. We're going to attack her for seven recruit. Then I'm going to make a bargain for the right hand side. And if fails, I don't get another card. But at least we got her out of there. All my recruit is gone. And I have yet to be able to successfully use that ritual card yet. Nobody's getting any wound. I th I was told there would be more wounds. Three, four, five, six. Again, please try to ignore the yellow cards. I'm trying to. Uh oh, scheme twist. Alright, so, echolocation, one, two, three, four, five, so it's a seven recruit. Guys, if I do not make seven recruit, it's end of game. Oh boy. Well... Let's check it out. See what I can do, guys. First of all, investigate a card that has uh, that has a the same name card as any of your cards. Um, so, unfortunately, I only have this one and this rare. So. If anything, I need to look for Recruit. 
But I also have this. So, uh, unfortunately, Maria Hill is a card name. Um, it's not a card name. Sorry. So I can only do just those two. Which is going to be kind of difficult with the rare, right? But we'll see what we can do, right? Because if anything, I, I have one more chance to investigate. So let's hope we can do that. Because I really don't want to lose this game. You know what I mean, Vern? Alright. Top two cards. Okay. Now I know that I don't have those. I'm going to tuck them. Because I am going to go for investigate now. With his rare. And I'm going to investigate a card that costs four. I got it. <clears throat> and I get one more attack. Unfortunately, I don't make the tactical formation. And I did play an instinct, so I get to draw a card. So, let's see here. Two, four, five. Okay, great. I'm going to put that Maria back on top. Then I'm going to draw her. Two, four, six, seven. Just enough to get echolocation. Phew. Okay. Am I the only one that almost had a heart attack? Alrighty. Um, oh, and clone. Yes. Because I played this before that. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, guys. That was a close call. We almost lost it. And I haven't had a chance to hit the Mamu yet. I don't know about you, but I kind of want to hit him. After all the chaos he just put me through, I kind of want to knock him out a little bit. You know, knock him around the uh, astral plane a little bit. I mean, the jerk. The jerk. But we need to hit him soon because that villain deck is looking awfully thin. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, I took care of all the recruit. I still have attack. I do get plus one. So four, five, six, seven attack. Um, We have enough to hit the mindless ones. Let's go ahead and make the other side make a bargain for this. And they don't get it, so Oster gets KO'd. This goes into my victory pile for the left-hand side. Whew. And after that, I'm going to get some water here in a minute. So give me one second. Four, five, six. Time for a quick rehydrate. Another reason why I want to become affiliate is also I get subscribers, but also so my subscribers can get channel points and remind stuff such as to remind me to drink water. All right, right hand side, bystander. Huh. A little bit of a respite. Let's see here. Let's see here, four attack, um, even with six attack, still not going to do anything, so I'm not going to make a bargain. Um, four recruit, it's not going to do any good for me right now, but let's go ahead and get just a sidekick, it's a basic. Two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> and we have Satanish. I don't know how to really say that. Ambush. Choose a player to make a bargain with him. To reveal the top card of the hero deck and gain it if it costs four or less. You know what? I'm going to make the left hand side. Because that's even though that's the side I'm on right now. I'm going to make them do that because, um, well, 
well, first of all, let's reveal, because yes, it is. Um, let's see, I do not make the bargain. Darn it. But at least I know what's coming up next. Alright, so, first of all, uh, tactical formation does not happen. Um, darn it, look at that. I could, but I do get to clone if there's any left. Not sure if there is any left. If not, then I got them all. And I don't mean Pokemon. I did just recently start uh, playing Pokemon Go uh, here and there. I don't play it very much, but I kind of like it. It's pretty fun. It's just, you know, trying to find time to do stuff. And, yes, I so I got all of the uh, Me, Myself, and I's. So I'm unable to do any more cloning of that card. So I need to shuffle the hero deck. So I have six attack. Um, let's go ahead and get him. Same effect, but cost six or less. But we already know that it is. Uh, oh no. Because I forgot, I got rid of that one. So, do I make the bargain? <laughs> I don't! <laughs> it's a wound! Um, okay, so, um, two, four, five, six recruit. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get Endless Endurance. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw two extra cards. I need that right now. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Right hand side. Oh, Cameron Hodge. Yeah, he's going to play on the left hand side. Captures one of that player's non gray heroes of their choice. Oh, man. Again, the jerk. Okay, I get to choose, though. So I'm going to choose perfect match. Ah, oh, man. So he's going to prey on me. And I got a little bit to go. Because right now I got to do the right hand side. Two, four, five, six. Oh, I get to do some draw card stuff. So let's go ahead and do sidekick first. Draw two cards. First one. Nice. Second one. All right. Let's go ahead and play that one. Draw two cards. Wow, look at all that. Two. Then we'll play the second sidekick. First card. It's this card. Then I got to shuffle for the next card. Wow, look at all that. All right. And the second card. All right. And then we'll play the fourth and final to draw two cards. And then second card. Wow, look at all that recruit. Okay, well, sidekicks are going bye-bye. Thank you for your help. And... So I have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve recruit. You know, where was this when I really needed it? Alright, so now he is preying on me on that side. So he's not in the city. So I cannot move from the city to the astral plane. Alright, so two, four, six, eight, twelve. Let's go ahead and get this first one. Oh, nice. There's Agamotto. You know the eye of Agamotto? There's the guy. Uh, let's go ahead and get him. 
So that's 10. Two remaining gets us a sidekick. Oh wow. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Need a shuffle. I pretty much went through the whole deck because of all those draw cards. So let's hope we can do something like that again. You know, because it was so nice. Got to do it twice, right? All right. Left hand side. Scheme twist. Oh boy. Okay, it's echolocation again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's eight. Um, let's, oh boy. Oh, mamma mia. All right, well, first of all, let's go ahead, play strong guy. I get to investigate, so I need to shuffle the deck. So here's the top card. I'm going to try to get some investigating stuff done first. Because I really want to keep that rare. I want. I don't want Domamu to win. Second card. Okay. So I get to draw that one. This is going to the bottom. <coughs> then I'm going to play Treasure Hunt. Investigate for one of these with a different option. Okay, I'm going for X Factor on the first option. One, two, investigating top two cards. Okay, those are going to the bottom. Now I'm going to investigate for a green card, a strength card. Top two cards. Oh, really? I'm putting those on the bottom. Alright. I'm going for the cost that costs four. Come on. No. Oh, man. Guys. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to. T uh, let's see here. I got four. I'm going to tuck those on the bottom. Even though one of them is a super nice card. But I really need the recruit. So, I'm going to play Psychic, draw two cards. First card is Echolocation. Second card, oh no. Guys, let's see here, 4-4. Four, four. I don't make the formation, but 2, 5, 6, 7, attack. Not enough to hit Dormammu, not enough to recruit. I can at least take care of Cameron Hodge, Mr. Laffy Pants, and unfortunately, guys, that is the game. So Dormammu has corrupted a Siren, and wow, the Netherworld will never be the same again. But all right, well, this was fun. I want to thank, once again, uh, Ronnie and uh, Susan. Thank you for your follows. I'm going to try to do this at least every Monday and every Friday. Um, That's the plan. So please uh, uh, take note of that. Um, normally around 6.30 Pacific time is the time I'm going to try to aim for. If I do any other extra ones, I will, uh, you know, you'll get the notification. And anyways, thank you for watching, everybody who watches this on my uh, here on Twitch and YouTube. I appreciate it. Uh, please go to GT Guild Gaming on YouTube if you haven't already uh, to give it uh, to subscribe to that, so you can check out all my other games that I played in the past. And I'm again, I'm going to post this one very soon. All right. Well, thanks again. I appreciate y'all. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And uh, we'll see you again here soon on GT Guild Gaming.